So today, we're going to build a bot. And not just any bot, but it's a unicorn bot that apparently does some cool things. Very interactive. But it's got 20 pieces, and I'm not sure that I'm really looking forward to putting this thing together. Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Why don't they just sell it already put together? I guess because some people have fun with that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like putting this thing together. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is the unpackaging of the unicorn and see what all is in this box. And it's a fairly easy open, what I like. And it looks like all the pieces are in their individual compartments, which is pretty cool. Not too hard to get out. And not quite as small as I thought. These are the feet. They These do look here. like the feet. And they even yeah. have like a little print on the bottom of it, like a little paw print. So those are the feet. There's all kinds of things in here. But I guess before I start taking everything out, we should take a look at these instructions. But or should we just try it without the instructions? Uh-uh. Let's, okay. That's probably a good idea to use the instructions. <laughs> Alright, so getting the instructions. What's inside? Unicorn pieces, sticker sheet, built certificate, and a learning guide. Whoa, look at all these stickers that we got inside there. Woo! Isn't that crazy? I don't and know what I'm going to do. a build certificate. This is almost like the birth certificate, and you put the build date, you put the name, you put the place that it was built, and who built it. And we'll put Alex's name on there. Okay. Oh, put you know what? Certificate aside. I'm going to yes. put some, there's some ice creams right here, so I'm going to put some ice cream on, on her. The first thing we're going to do is find the parts for the left back leg. They should look something like that. Do you see anything? They, they look green in this picture here, but they are by no means green. I think it might be those white things right there. Yeah, I think that's them. Can you pop those out? I don't think these are. Yeah, that's them. Okay. Maybe. A different color. I mean, there's no green pieces in there. We're going to take the one that's facing this way and kind of line it up with this picture here so we can see we got the hole there that's the same, the slot there, and I guess we're going to snap those together on one of the feet. So we have the left back leg. We've identified this piece as being one of the pieces that we need, and then there's two of these other little pieces that are smooth, and we just found the one that lines up with it, which appears to be this one. And what we got to do is put the foot in there. Now, I kind of experimented with these, and there's only one foot that will fit. The other foot will not fit in the little plastic piece that's sticking out there and fit in the groove. So there's only one foot that will do that, and then we can snap this piece on here, line up the holes, and line up the little edge. And press down. And press down, perhaps. Presto. Here we go. We got the one back leg done. Now we need... We're going to do the same thing with the other back legs. There we go. There's our two unicorn legs. So looking at the paper, it says, Next, we're going to put together your pet's motor. Motors are what make lots of things move. They're in everything from cars to planes, elevators, and even some of your toys. I think the dog might have one in him as well. Uh -uh. I don't know. He's but, a real animal. Let's find the levers with the numbers 7 and 8. Each lever is different. And let's put together this motor. That should be really fun. Mm. So this fancy thing right here is the motor. This is what's going to make the unicorn operate. And inside this little bag here, they have the little levers. And luckily, the levers have little tiny numbers on them. They're very hard to see. But if you look closely, you may be able to see that one says eight on it. So we know that that's gonna be the one that we use for this side. Oh, for this side, because I gotta turn it the same way it looks in the picture there. And we're gonna assemble the levers like so. Let's see if we can get that right. So we're gonna take this piece right here and it's gonna go right on here like this. Gotta get that big piece in the, in the center there and then the little piece should go through like there. Now we need number eight, and number eight is going to go something like this here onto the end of that. So it looks like that. 
and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, our next step is to take the leg, like so, and we're going to fix leg nine to these two little things right here, if we can. Right like that. And that's gonna hold those legs in place to the motor mechanism thing. And that is technical. Now, we have to have some kind of a body to hold that on there. We're going to be looking for a piece that looks like this right here. And we're gonna take that and place that right on here, like so. And it fits right on there. And it's pretty cool because you can still see the motor through it. Yeah, that's, see it even says on, it even had it on the box. It even had the box like you seeing the motor through it. So I thought that would be cool. Yeah, I think so. Now you made a prediction. What did you say? I said maybe those levers are the things that make it her, her the legs move like that. I think you're right because you can see inside those little levers go right down to that leg. So I'm willing to bet that those levers make these legs move. But we're going to find out once it's all together. I wonder where the batteries go. The one thing we forgot to do is put the tail on. So we had to pop it back apart. And that's one thing of... Uh, one problem with going ahead of the instructions, but we put the tail in like this You have to kind of lift up this part a little bit so that it can go in that little pin there And then we have the tail in place. So after we make sure the tail is on there and The left side of the unicorn is on there It says to put on the left leg which looks like this and we just snap it onto this peg here And put it into place I guess it doesn't snap very hard on there, does it? There it goes. There's the snap. You don't want to push too hard because I don't want to take a chance on breaking it. So now it looks like we're at the point of building the head. Because right now we've got a headless unicorn. And that's what it looks like at this point. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the head. Okay, so I think this right, this is the um, horn and that's the nose. So, But we're not on that part yet, so let's worry about the body. So I'm going to put the nose on, which is going to look like this. There's the nose. All right. And, of then course, the every unicorn needs the horn, the magic horn. So go ahead and put the horn in there. There it goes. It goes right up in the top there. Wait. Right in here like this. Okay. Okay, push it in there. I think that's as tight a, as it can go, or unless you can push it oh, in. I think that's about good. So now we want to put the unicorn's head on like this. We want to line up this little circle part with his collar and just kind of slide it on there so that it fits right in there like that. And there, oh, we got half a unicorn starting to look cute, isn't he? Yeah, but he needs his eyes. Now we're going to put the other side of the head on. Aww. There we go. What are those things in there? Spare parts. Spare parts. It's always good to have spare parts left over when you're done putting together something like this. What are the spare parts do? I'm not sure. We probably missed something in the instructions. Whoops. Actually, these spare parts look like they're going to be the unicorn's ears. So we can go ahead and snap them on. And the ears have these little things here. I don't want to move them right now. Well, maybe, maybe they move mm -mm. or maybe not. Maybe you move them yourself, but uh, they do have these little pegs here that we would put in the ears on. So I'm going to put the ears on, which we would put this little hole right here and this little hole right here. I want to make sure I'm not too harsh on it, but oh. Yeah, but it's really gonna take a little bit of strength to get it in there. Now the one thing about the ears is they can move and it says you can move the ears to help the unicorn balance. So perhaps putting the ears in different places uh, helps the unicorn to balance when she does tricks. I don't know. But now comes the fun part for some people stickers. of putting on the stickers. Decorate and customize your pet 
with stickers. Which um, place the feet stickers in the right places. And of course, we got to place the eye stickers in the right yeah, places. So right which set here. of eyes are you going to use on her? I'm going to use these rainbow ones, and they would mm -hmm. go in this little spot right here. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You can go ahead and put them on. So I guess this one's going to go on like that, maybe. That looks good. I like that color. You picked a good one. It's sparkly. These stickers definitely have a sparkle to them, kind of. Now, I'm not really good at holding stuff still, so that's why I try my best to hold it with two hands. Here is the other eye. There you have it. Since purple is my favorite color, I'm going to put these purple hearts on the side of her. Like the unicorn this. has a purple heart. Maybe like this. Ah, oh, that's a good place. Just don't cover up any switches with it. I wouldn't. <laughs> it also said something about the feet stickers. Do you see feet stickers? Yeah, I think it's these right here. Oh, the horseshoes. Oh, I see, because the little one, the little horseshoe maybe goes on the front paw like this, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. So it goes like that, see? And then the other little one goes on the other front paw. Line it up just right, and there you go. Good. So there's her front paw. She's got some horseshoes. Because unicorns have horseshoes. It protects their hooves. And then we got some other ones for the back. Not really, because unicorns don't usually get caught, so they usually don't have them when you see them. You want to put the other back sticker on there? Sure. Here. There she is. Now... Go ahead and finish decorating. The one in the box, it's got like the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Up there. Ooh, that's pretty neat. So now comes the fun part. We get to go get a screwdriver and take off the battery cap and find out that we probably don't have the batteries that are going to make this thing go. <laughs> but I'm sure we do, being that uh, I have a plethora of batteries, if you will, in the ghost hunting case. So let's see what we can find. All right, so we got some batteries in there. And now is the part where we turn it on and see what she can do. Go ahead and power up there. I think the switch is in the front. Like right, okay. And action. Oh, I hear something. I wasn't expecting it to work. Oh, that's crazy, look at that. It works. directions of what it can do in there? Well, it says up here, it says, I run, jump, play, and make sounds. It says your pet is ready for play time. Bring your pet to life by moving the switch on the chest to the on position. Lift the tail to make your pet move. Each time you lift the tail, it will hop and make sounds. Hmm. Try the tail thing. It also says try talking to your pet 
Oh, try taking your pet apart to see how the motor makes it move. Can you figure out how the motor counts? Here's a hint. The secret is levers. I don't really feel like taking it apart again, do you? Yeah. No. We can see the motor move just fine through there. But what happens when you lift the tail? Like, that's where you like, lift it like up like that. Yeah, does anything happen? Nothing? Okay. It says also says, remember that the detector, the sensor can detect sound. If we look in her mouth here, there's supposedly a little sensor around there. Oh, there it is. Maybe that's it. And the sensor can detect sound. And that's how it picks up the sound waves from your plaques. Hey. Each time you clap, your pet will hop and make sound, which would seem to be true. So the um I got a raffle which you get in which I got in school. Sometimes you get raffle tickets on Fridays. And you get this cool thing. So one time, I was keeping my fingers crossed, and I got the robot. So if you guys want to see how it moves, it doesn't really do anything but walk. See? Let's see it. Oh, look at that. That's the can robot right there. I remember building that. And that was actually harder to build than this unicorn, though the unicorn looks a lot more complex. Yeah. But still both cool, and both run by... Motors! Motors.